Welcome to Atelier Play Mujeres. So before we get into it, I'm just going to let you know that this is an extremely, extremely detailed video. I'm going to go over everything, what's included. I bet you didn't know that you can get the mirror lounge access at the Cancun airport for free. If you stay here, keep watching to see how. Also, I'm going to show you the full hydrotherapy spa that's included, the full room tour that's super detailed, what's included in the room and what's not. Every single restaurant with every single item on the menu, I'm going to go over what we liked honest opinions on what we didn't like of the restaurant going over the service the gym the pool the main pool the beach access the coffee shop i mean just everything you need to know is going to be right here in this video so guys please do me a favor subscribe to my channel click the like button and definitely share it if you guys are planning on making a trip out here all right thank you continue watching as soon as we arrived, we were escorted to the Inspira Lounge check-in area, which is separate from the regular check-in area. We were offered some welcome drinks. I wasn't drinking alcohol at the time, so they gave me something else. Check-in was really slow process. Um, we did find out that some of the employees had only been there for about two or three days, so they weren't really familiar with the resort, or you know, we didn't get a tour or anything. Actually, our bellboy ended up giving us a tour. Also, the amenities that were included, they weren't able to provide those for us. Um, just to let you know, which kind of upset me that the snacks, this is the first resort I've been to, um, even after COVID and during COVID, that they don't give, they don't give refills on uh, mini bar snacks in your room. Yes. And the center is at the other side. That's probably the nicest one I've seen. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, let's get it straight in. Oh, so which one do you want? In. Okay. Please. Well, you smell first. This one is Mandarin. Mandarin. Yeah. You can touch it. <laughs> 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 yeah, you gotta test it out. Yeah. Okay, so this is extra suave pluma. Yeah, no, that's a uh, orthopedic. That one's really safe. Okay, so green is in this side, red is in family side. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's a lot. Would uh, you? Oh, so the dress code, yeah, resort mm -hmm. elegant. We have open for the moment Limon is a, it's a restaurant for fast food, mm -hmm. Spiro for seafood, and Chilento is an uh, Italian. Sake bar. Uh, would you keep it with you? Yeah, he's gonna keep it. So that's like check in for regular people. While we were waiting to check into our room, we went to Salento. So we went here the first day, and then we also went here on the last night for dinner. So I'm going to go over the, I guess, the lunch menu and then also the dinner menu. We really enjoyed this place. The food was excellent. It was always hot and fresh. The service was really good. I think the last night um, we were supposed to go to Suspiro. We went there, but the food was horrible, so we ended up coming back here for dinner. The capellini pasta and then the chicken. Parmesan chicken. Half pepperoni and half prosciutto. This is the panna cotta. Sorrento. And then on the last day we came for dinner, but I just wanted it to put it together so you guys can, you know, get this restaurant out of the way. Um, here, you know, for whatever reason, desserts at all-inclusive resorts are not what we like. So we're going to order the desserts, but we typically don't like those. Um, but they're here for you to see as well. The panna cotta for lunch was like hard jello um but you know the coffee shop they have has amazing gelato so i would just skip the food the desserts at all the restaurants and just go to the coffee shop this is a carajillo mm. uh, bread <laughs> the lentil soup Lamb chops. Thank you. And the pan al vodka. I've never seen it like this before, but I'll give it a try. 
This is a fun fungi pizza. Pull it up. I'm eating tartartilla. It's a restaurant tour. This is my head. Ooh, yeah. ah. uh -huh. <laughs> I'm probably gonna butcher this name, but this was a tableside spaghetti. It's called Spaghetti Al Pana Bernada. Um, it's on the menu. I'm sorry if I butchered it. Uh, I was just gonna let you know that the gnocchi or the gnocchi, probably saying that wrong too. That was just weird. I've never seen it set up like that way. Um, it was like in cubes, but it didn't taste good at all. We just took a bite and returned that. This uh, spaghetti that he's preparing table side was super yummy. The only thing is like I saw, I noticed on the other table that they reheated it after they placed it in the cheese and he didn't do that for us. So the spaghetti was really cold. I was kind of upset because I don't like eating cold food and you know if you if you are okay with that you'll like it but I think he was supposed to reheat it but it was closing time and he was tired and you know he just forgot that but it's okay because we ate so much food that night and we were happy with just being here and not to Spiro. Um, all right. Yeah, we're going there tomorrow at 7, yeah. What is that? Deseo? We have a disco. Oh, disco. Okay. That's cool. That's our boutique, our spa, and this is a Asian restaurant. Where's the gym? The gym is in the first row. First row here. Yeah. Okay, and there's a spa right there. Okay. Twenty-one, twenty-five is your room, right? Yes. So, okay. Okay. Um, you have to take this elevator. You go for Los Abrazos. Okay, okay. Abrazos is on the fourth floor. Yeah. yeah. So fourth floor for Los Abrazos. Los Abrazos is the fifth. Okay, fifth. And um, in the same area, we have the the sky bar. Okay, that's where we can use the pool and that's stuff, right? Very, very nice, this pool. Okay. The pool with an ocean view. Then you can see the island too. Okay. It's going to be available 10 in the morning till 1 a.m. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, this is so pretty. Alright, so our room was 2125. It was cool because it was all in Spanish too. Those dots under there were not braille. It was just, I guess, for fun. Um, the room key again was your bracelet, which was really cool. We spent four nights here, $909 a night for a total of $3,636. Um, it was a junior swim-up suite. So as we enter, we it's a very, very open space. So I'm just going to quickly run through like the safe, um, the whole bunch of drawer space. I think people stay here for many, many days. Um, then you have your inside closet, robes, and slippers. You know how I am about slippers and my robe. I need, need, need those. Iron, ironing board, and yes, a full-length mirror. Actually, we stayed at the JW Marriott, and we there wasn't a full-length mirror, and we stayed in a suite, so that was kind of sad for me. Anyway, so you have your full bathtub, and then you walk in, and you have uh, your separate shower, and then also the shower is pretty cool because you have like the two parts of the shower, like the waterfall shower, and then you can change it to like the um, 
handheld shower the water pressure was kind of off and so was the temperature like it was never accurate it almost reminded me of being in Holbosch when I couldn't get the right temperature at the Mystique anyway so all their products are molten brown really really good smelling they also didn't uh, refresh all the amenities daily so you have to ask them like even the towels they didn't really refresh the towels um, they didn't you know refresh the q-tips my my shower gel they didn't change out um, but they do have a scale so you can keep a track of your weight if you want to I surely didn't and then uh, that bathtub was actually used for our dirty clothes <laughs> we just kind of threw the towels in there but it's very spacious and also uh, it looks like it's all open, but there are sliding doors that allow you to close the entire thing for privacy, which you'll need because when we ordered room service and my husband was in the shower, you know, they can come through and they can see everything. So you make sure you want to close that. And there's a separate side door for them to enter in. Okay, so the bed was a king size bed, really, really good bed. We really enjoyed it because the pillow selection that we got to choose from really helped with our neck and our back. Um, yes, we're getting old, and yes, we need some some support and good um, good mattresses and good pillows. The comforters were really comfortable too. And then we go outside. We had the swim up, the junior swim up. Um, it was really quiet. I feel like I swam through the entire line of there and we were the only room that was occupied so it's a very very quiet resort in the inspiro section we are for diamonds we have to give a special service yeah and this is a service as water sodas included too okay so all this here that you see the liquor bottles the snacks and then the wine bottles it's all included the only thing is they don't replenish i understand not replenishing the liquor bottles but they didn't replenish the snacks but let me tell you if you find someone, a cool person, a cool mini bar guy, he will replenish the snacks for you. Um, just tip them really well. Uh, the first guy said, you know, he didn't want to do it. We don't want to get anyone in trouble. But I wasn't drinking and I just wanted some more Pringles. So he did give those to us. Um, so anyway, they also have this beach bag with towels. I remember Live Aqua had this as well, but they don't have slippers, but they do have towels. They have like a shoe cleaning uh, service if you want that too. And like I said, plenty of drawer space. And then if you have Inspira, you get the cabanas. Some restaurants to eat at. If you're in Spira, you get these cabanas. Oh, that's so cool. Go for it. That dog doesn't want to move. He's done. All right, so our first night for dinner, we had Los Abrazos, which was a steakhouse. To be honest with you, this was probably my favorite restaurant. The salmon was so perfectly cooked. It had like a nice crusty uh, top layer. Oh, it was so yummy. The food was delicious. I really liked the fact that they had the little buffet set up of like apps and stuff. So you had a salad bar. Um, they had like potatoes, pastas. Um, they even had fresh honey. It was really nice to kind of munch on there while you waited for your food. The wine was house wine, so we didn't like that. But they do have an entire wine menu that is extra cost if you will if you wanted to pair it with some of your foods. Also, the desserts were. Ugh. <laughs> Crunchy like a samosa corn. Corn. Mm -hmm. oh, cheese. Oh, cheese. 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 Yeah. And then. Cheese. Oh, cheese. Oh, cheese. Oh, 
glass of red wine? Yeah, we have Cabernet and Merlot. Uh, which one should I get? Where is it from? From Spain. From Merlot? Yes. God, I hope not. I'm gonna get angry. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, oh, it is. Oh, God. After dinner, we usually head headed down to the Deseo or the Sky Bar. Today, I'm, first, I'm going to show you the Deseo. So, um, they always have shows around 9, 9.30 p.m. They have really cool shows. They had a live singer one night who was really good. And they do some of these crazy acrobatics here that <laughs> kind of just like, wow, I can't even do that myself, even if I tried. Um, and also around 1, I think around midnight or 11 p.m., they change it into like a club but the club was always empty i don't know even we went on a friday night it was it was dead there was only a couple people in there but they had they do have a full bar so if you just want to sit down chill hang out have drinks you can do that as well it was really fun kind of like ending of the night coffee shop closes at 11 p.m so be sure to get something from here they have really cool coffees espressos teas cold teas iced teas and oh my god the gelato is delicious i ate like 20 of those they have different flavors every night this is the last part of restaurant tour travels mm -hmm. pistachio cake sticking a big mouth. thing in his mouth oh look at that crunch mm. that looks kind of good so of course with all that food and all that drink and all that relaxation you gotta burn off some of those calories especially when you're in an all-inclusive and this gym was really really good it not only was clean but it had really good equipment and it had a stairmaster i love stairmasters it had techno gym equipment which is really expensive um i did see people like a guy in the afternoon just cleaning it cleaning 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 so sanitizing all the machines the bicycles treadmills weights and my husband said that the weights get really heavy so that's really good also they have water bottles and towels and then you just have to check in every time you come in but um they have a little restroom and a shower in there too if you want We ordered room service here a couple times, so it's gonna be in like sections. So here is the breakfast. We just had like boiled eggs, hash browns, and the next day I kind of just told them I just wanted the boiled eggs, no hash browns. Um, the It said 45 minutes, but it would take at least an hour to get here. So just make sure you order in advance. And here are some of the amenities of Inspira Beach Club. So you do get mirror lounge access at Cancun Airport, but they made such a hassle to try and get that. It was incredibly annoying. We went through three managers um, that finally, finally, they gave us a lounge access. So basically, if you're an Inspiro member, you do get mirror class lounge access at the Cancun Airport. Um, I think you can use your priority pass. No, it doesn't take priority pass. You have to only have like an American Express Platinum or Centurion card or one of those um, pretty high up there cards. Um, they finally, after talking to so many people, they finally gave us our access card so just be persistent because like i said there's a lot of new people working there and they don't know what's included um, i did have to go over their website several times and show them like hey this is what it says and finally they agreed and got it to us but we you know it's just the principle of them it's saying it on the website and them not giving it to you i mean we could have entered free with our the credit cards that we have but i just you know, it's like, this is what's included. Give it to me, guys. Anyway, so just be persistent if you want something.
This was another one of our favorite little restaurants. They only open from 11 to 4 p.m. They have a daily like uh, selection of foods that you can choose from. It's called Alba. It's a really healthy restaurant. It's right opposite the gym. And so every day after the gym, we kind of stop by Water here. Lemon, and hibiscus, orange, ginger, lime. This is a couscous with chicken. And then the salmon. So we just kept eating here every day. This is the green sandwich. And then this is the salmon. Okay, so now we go to the spa. So we you tried our complimentary hydrotherapy i went in around 12 and i said i wanted an appointment for 2 p.m and that was doable we just have to kind of sign a waiver first so as you enter there's always somebody to greet you there's water and like lotions so it's pretty cool so they take you to your locker first you put your stuff in there you put you make sure you wear your bathing suit then you go into the steam room and they give you a scrub then you go into the sauna and they give you cucumbers and then you go into the jacuzzi and like you can spend like 10 minutes there so every little section is 10 minutes long <clears throat> and it was really really relaxing so much fun and then you get to go outside into like the um there's like different areas of, there's like different massages in all those pools like there's a back massage a head massage um a face massage and then here you can just put all your stuff so it takes about a, a good hour to complete the hydrotherapy also there's an outdoor pool if you wanted to hang out there i forgot my sunglasses and my sunscreen so i didn't really want to risk being out there but if you do want to hang out there just make sure you bring your sunglasses and sunscreen A, just because champagne and strawberries to hang out, uh, we ended up taking this to the Sky Bar and opening it there. So this is an Inspiro uh, Sky Bar and it's Inspiro members only until 5 p.m. And then after 5 p.m. anyone is allowed. Um, the views are really amazing. The water is good and the service is excellent. Um, here is a menu. You can basically order whatever you want off the menu, but the cocktails are amazing. So I was drinking non-alcoholic cocktails and they made really good ones that weren't sweet and gross and they were just really delicious. The food was, you know, just pool food. It wasn't anything spectacular, but it was just a great hangout spot. So we made it to Maria Dolores. Make sure you're on time because they say like if you're late, they don't take you. Uh, we were the only ones there at the at the beginning, but then it got really busy. A really cool violinist player. Just, I mean, really good service, really good atmosphere, really romantic, calming, soothing. Really like the place. I just did not, and my husband too, did not like the food. Um, the food was either cold or didn't taste very good the fish that we ordered and even our server agreed that it was very fishy um he said it had, the reason why it was very fishy is because it had been sitting in the fridge for too long you know meaning that it was old food um i don't even know why he would say that and you know agree to that but he was a really good server like i said the service was good the atmosphere was good the food i mean i would just try it because it's included but i would not pay for it um, that's our opinion and we are, love food so if you do see other videos that really like this place you know it's it's something for you to decide me personally i did not like it this was too oily 
Um, this had no flavor in it. It was just it was just not what I expected. I think that they hyped it up so much that I was expecting this wow, wow, wow food. And it was horrible. Like the Caesar salad was like one little bite. Um, the soup looked hot, but it was actually too cold because they had too many ingredients in it. It was more for the presentation. Now, the presentation was amazing. Don't get me wrong. The presentation was absolutely beautiful, amazing. But the food, again, I did not like. I had to ask for the onion soup three times before they finally got it right. And then I really just didn't want to upset anyone. So we ended up going to the coffee shop after this. We used the brioches, the pioches, vinegar, salt, the pepper, onion, and garlic. Uh, lime zest, lime juice. On the bottom, we have an, a sweet, uh, uh, sweet, ba sweet vegetables. The desserts were really cool, like the red uh, bell pepper ice cream, and that was a really interesting uh, dessert. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Red ruby. Tarta. That's real. That's a pecan pie? Yes. Okay, yummy. And then that's a bell pepper ice cream. That's bell pepper ice cream. So just I want to let you guys know to make sure that you book the reservations for each restaurant. You can only book them a night before, but just, you know, kind of be persistent with the concierge and be like, hey, I really want to make all my reservations within, you know, today. Um, so also on the app, they allow you to talk to the concierge So make, su make sure you download the app. The food here was really good, um, but the service was extremely slow. Like when I say slow, I mean, we were here for three hours and this is the, all the food that we got. I noticed some couples, they were sitting down and they only ordered entrees and they were there for like two hours. So, um, you know, it, it's just a little slow. So we missed the disco and we missed everything. Um, but you know, the food was good and the Indian food was, you know, actually surprisingly pretty good. I know we went to TRS Coral and the Indian food there was horrible. <laughs> like, I mean, disgusting, but here that's the chicken tikka masala. I mean, the onions and stuff, it, you know, it's not a typical chicken tikka masala, but this lamb Rogan Josh was excellent. Like, I'm not even kidding. Yes, it tasted like boxed Indian food, but it was good. It wasn't bad. The desserts here were not good at all. They were fried and stale. So guess where we headed? We headed to the coffee shop. Cantina was like their little outdoor bar. There was like indoor seating too. Um, I thought they only sold or they only had drinks. But when we were leaving, we noticed there was like a little menu. The menu just had like typical items like chips and salsa, um, you know, taquitos and stuff like that. So if you're trying to grab a snack, you can definitely stop by there and eat it. I think it closed at 11 p.m. as well. So this was 
uh, El Suspiro. We ended up cutting it short here because uh, service wasn't good and this was one of our least favorite restaurants. So Maria Dolores and Suspiro were our two least favorite restaurants. Everything else was really good. Uh, I don't, re I mean, I recommend just trying it out if you want to, but it's just all seafood, which we usually love, but it just wasn't cutting it for us. Um, and so we came to find out that this restaurant, the reason why service is so slow as well, is because it does, it the servers serve on the family side as well as this side together. So the, the guys were running around. So this is a night we went to El Salento for dinner and had that spaghetti where I showed you at the beginning. Filet mignon. And then what is that? The lobster. Uh, little fried dessert. <laughs> <laughs> sad to leave. I'm sad. Yeah, the restaurant tour is sad to leave. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Very, 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 very hard. Hola. So our hotel review category rating for Atelier Play Mujeres was 84%. The location was excellent. It was a nice secluded area with a lot of check stops to make sure that you're safe. Toiletries were good, except that they didn't really refill them, but I still gave them a 10. The staff was friendly. The speed of service was very, very slow from the room service to the restaurants. Very slow. Uh, food and drinks, like I said, 50-50. Some places were really good. Some places really, really bad. Um, the pool and gym was excellent. Really, really good machines. Uh, pool equipment everything the mattress and pillows were good the overall value was a seven i think it's a little bit overpriced for what we're used to paying for an all exclusive all inclusive especially when a lot of things weren't included all right guys that is a wrap uh please don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching have a good day Bye bye